Hello everybody, Action Figure Hub Nate here, with a new video and it's been a while because finally I have got a new Build-A-Figure and as you can see, it's the Hasbro Onslaught Build-A-Figure. I've had the head for this guy forever, for like a year and a half, year and, a, year and two, three months to be exact, because I got it Christmas of last year with the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. So, yeah, I've had the head for quite a while, and it has taken me a very long time to complete this Build-A-Figure. Uh, hey, look at me, I did it. I think the figure is better than the Toy Biz one. I mean, the Toy Biz one has nostalgic value to it, but no one liked that interpretation of onslaught i'm gonna say i mean if you do or did good for you but i think you're in the minority here sorry <laughs> but yet i feel that this onslaught is definitely better has some nice paint detailing with the sh right there better than it's not as good as the toy biz of course because the toy biz is all drawn to hell and stuff and hold so much paint but you know it's nice to see there that is there it's also on the arm and i think there's some on the back there yeah you can see moving that out of the way which that is nice you can see the head it looks like mr magneto himself look looking good looking good i like this figure the shoulder pads they definitely inhibit the articulation uh speaking of articulation looks up about that far not i don't know not very looking up i mean if he's battling a sentinel it's not gonna look very well looks down i think a little bit better just a tiny bit you can barely look down you're more just gonna have him looking stoic and straightforward head also rotates and there's a tiny bit of pivot in there not very much shoulders because of the pads can only move out that far which is a shame but they have these indents in the front so they can move all the way forward a nice ratcheted joint and they move back about that much without messing up with the shoulder pads too much there is rotation at the bicep with a single jointed elbow there's also rotation at the elbow that can go in. Then there's rotation at the wrist with a slight hinge, which is nice. For the this back plate, it can come off considering it's a I'm trying to move that arm. The build a figure piece it can come off and rotate with it on. It moves that far forward and that far back. There is a rotation at that diaphragm joint leg moves out that far that far forward a tiny bit back as i shown earlier upper leg rotation double jointed knee but this knee joint is pretty ugly i mean it's sculpted in there but this that's kind of weird i don't know i wish i would like put that right there i don't look weird my 100 percent professional opinion there is no rotation anywhere but they'll have a nice ankle rocker pivot with the hinge i as i said earlier i like this figure more than i like the toy biz one i feel like it's the onslaught we never got oh well, i guess he that rotates too but it's it's like the onslaught that we never got and it's nice to see that has did something right for once he and uh delivered so i am glad to see capitalized on.